All right, uh, right now I'm working on uh, my heads and my bolt on my heads to my engine block. What I'm doing is I took the pistons out of my block so I can scribe my combustion chamber so I can unshroud my valves if, if, able to, if I'm able to. Because this does have a 55,000 overbore over stock. And I believe these heads are made for a stock bore minimum. So at the minimum I could take 55,000s off. I'm getting ready to find out. So there's my heads on there. Um, see a little sneak peek of my port work there. Um, which I'll probably make a video on that. It's not really important right now, but that's what I'm doing right now. So uh, we'll see what we can see in there. I left the crank in here. So I don't know. I don't know how, how good this is. You know how good I'm gonna be able to see, or or anything like that. But there's my exhaust ports. Ported those a little bit too. But I don't know how good I'm gonna be able to see or or, or anything. Uh, should be able to just reach down in there and uh, and scribe it at least. So. Oh yeah, I can see good. Let's see here. That's where I'm seeing, so. Looks like there's not really much scribing I can be that can be done on this, actually. Huh. Looks like there's not much unshrouding to be done, really. Um, that's kind of a surprise. So. If you see that, well. I mean, it was worth checking out, I guess. I can't believe that. Well, I guess we'll just uh, describe it anyways and take the head back off and see what we come up with. Well, I uh, put the head on there, bolted it all down, and I scribed every uh, combustion chamber. And these are actually surprisingly big around the valve, like even bigger than this bore at 55 thousandths over. Um, there's actually some that it would it'd even overhang the bore a little bit. That's just from trick flow how they came. I'm pretty surprised, really. I mean, I don't know if any of this would be work taken, um, taken off. I probably just talked to Tony Bischoff and ask him. Um, but we got like, um, let's see, one that's best to see, like right here, that little tiny line is where I scribed, and I'm assuming. Maybe I could take some off up to that line right there, but see all through right here. Let me get my pointer. All through right here is quite a bit bigger than the cylinder. And then right here it meets back again. So from here to here is bigger than the cylinder on the intake valve, which is I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't, I don't I don't think that's like horrible. I just don't think it's like ideal. But so really seeing this, this could actually even use a bigger bore, which I'm not doing. I can't really, but these heads actually have enough room for a bigger bore even. And I checked the valve clearance. The valve clearance to the bore is good. Um But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm just checking that. On the let's look at one of the exhausts here. These actually aren't all even either, which is surprising. These heads are all CNC'd and all that. These are actually a little bit different, everyone, but let's just look at an easy to see exhaust one here. There's my line. It ends there. So I don't know if I should, could just unshroud it through there. And then I don't know if any of the unshrouding back here would be worth it. I don't know if I'd take it to that line and leave, maybe, you know, leave this little hump and take it to that line and then run it out. I don't know. Um, but I'll talk to them and see what they say at BES and then uh, I'll just go from there and I'll do it if I need to. But um, if I had to guess, I would say there's not gonna be much that can be done. I don't know, maybe a little bit right through there would be worth it. I mean, anything probably would help. He never really said, he said any little bit helps, so I'm sure it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, so let's just 
I'll just have to wait and talk to them and go from there. All right, tonight I'm working on my head some more. I'm, I'm porting the combustion chambers a little bit. Um, I bolted them on the block. I think I made a video about that and scribed them. So then I marked them and I'm just unshrouding the valves a little bit. See like there I got it marked. I'm gonna take that little bit out. And, and then there's like a little ridge down there from the valve job. I took that out too, so hopefully that'll help. Um, I'm gonna smooth these up a lot more with some sandpaper rolls. So this is just kind of the rough cut, but that's what I'm working on right now. And I'm filming this with my new my new phone. I got an iPhone 11 now, so this is a much better camera. Um, it's got all kinds of different options, but this is a this would be a good good phone to use for filming these videos. But I'll just make some more videos as I get going here. These heads are almost done. All right, so I got my um, my combustion chambers all ported and finished. I didn't take too many videos as I was going. I should have, but um, I'll just put some pictures of here. Like this would be like before when it was scribed and uh, I didn't touch it yet. So I'll put the before picture here. And then um, I did the rough cut with just like an aluminum burr cutter and cut out to the lines in just the spots I can. I shared that in the other video. Um, so once I did that and all of them, then uh, it's pretty much just finished with sandpaper rolls. But I'll put the rough cut picture here. And then... Um, after the sandpaper, or I finished them with the sandpaper rolls, it took a little bit. It's actually the first time I've ever used sandpaper rolls on anything. Like, all my intake porting, I just finished with the burr. Because I think, I believe, I'm one of the believers of the rough intake ports make more horsepower with a carbureted engine. With the fuel atomization and all that. But, I mean, we can get into that later. But, anyways. So, I am going to smooth up. I did smooth up the combustion chambers, and I am going to smooth up the exhaust with uh sandpaper rolls so it's pretty nice they, they make it make it look nice anyways but I'll, so yeah i'll uh put that picture in there as well so that's all my combustion chamber mods i could do um the main reason i unshrouded them was because when i talked to BES racing engines Tony Bischoff he told me to check that out make sure that they were unshrouded as much as I could since I put a we, since well they did it but since we put the bigger valves in it <clears throat> excuse me um just best to make sure it's unshrouded completely and uh I don't know how much that helps but it can't hurt so I'm doing it because I'm the kind of guy where I like to make sure every little thing's perfect that way um there's no no power left on the table. So that's all I have for now. I'm just going to keep this video about the combustion chambers only. And we'll uh, I'll make some more updates. I got a lot more videos to make on the heads. So it'll be about the intake ports and the valve job and the exhaust ports and all that. So um, I'll just post those when I get them done. All right. Thanks for listening.